Hi, welcome. We're going to launch 6.4.1 pretty soon. And the question people ask always is what's different between 6.3.1, 4.1? Should I update? Should I upgrade? No, there is no need to update Arch Merge or upgrade. Arch Merge is an, a rolling release. A clean installation is not necessary, but it's always preferred if you want to um, make a new installation that you get, of course, the latest version. So 1st of February 2018, 6.4.1 will be online. Just install this in VirtualBox. I'm not going to do all the updates for, for a month's time. It's 231 available updates in one month. The thing is, we're going to discuss how to get to 6.4.1 if you want to stay on 6.3.1. That's the goal of the tutorial is showing you guys uh, what happened, what changed. So you start by Googling Arch Merch and then you have archmerch.com. And in here we have always links. So Arch Merch info is going to give all the information. And in here we have the Arch Merch editions. This should be your page. There's a shortcut for that and that's just this one. So if you know that there's a shortcut here, no point in to, to the same direction, but it will open in this case Vivaldi. So uh, fail to start load kernel modules. So most asked questions, you just read through it. We're just gonna uh, focus on this part. So we're going to release 6.4.1 showing you we're actually on 6.3.1 just installed it for you guys on virtualbox and we're going over anything we have missed so let, let's put that one there we need a terminal to fix and install things maybe i don't know like for instance i see the first one pseudo pacman minus s arch merge polybar now polybar is maybe not uh, to your liking so what is this thing before you install it, just check it out and say, oh, it's a kind of bar, kind of panel that goes with open box. So tin2 is a thing what used to be there. It's now replaced with um, polybar. And there are lots of tutorials on archmerch.com to explain you how and what to change and what modules there are. There are 33 modules to put in those bars up there. And actually, it has been created for i3 because for i3 it's ideal um, companion and we have in this image the standard bar at the bottom and the top bar is then the polybar so it's um, a great way to have a toolbar for tiling managers and we'll see in the future lots more um, tiling managers in arch merged with a d so if you say mm, i want to give it this a go and give it i'll try this then you install it and that's it, you are done. It's now, of course, installed in ETC scale. That's what he's saying here. So if you really want to have it, then of course you need to copy paste it because whatever happens in ETC scale does not influence your system. So you put it in here and Control H, there are hidden files in there. And in here we have a polybar. So it's a small folder with small application, it has nothing in gigabytes, it doesn't mean a thing. Uh, 48 kilobytes, but it provides all you need to have in your .config. So I copy paste it in here in your own home eric.config. And there you have the polybar. So now we can start polybar and start following the tutorials on archmerged.com how to get the polybar, how to activate the polybar. So that's done. Samba and Co, that's something else. Yep, that's something else. That's not so easy to solve, but it's only if you have a Mac system. So if you don't have a Mac system, it doesn't really matter and just say, okay, whatever. That's hidden in nsswitch.conf in here. We open it with Sublime Text, nothing else. And what you sh should you do, one moment, what should we add here? We should add NDNS, that's for Mac and also Wins. And we save it and that's done. So it's the file etc nss switch or nsswitch.conf. That's where we add three words, so no, two words, NDNS and WinNS. I don't really think that it matters the, the sequence of the words, but done. 
Now we have a software. Software did not add anything, but we did remove something. So we should actually remove. If you don't want that, there was, a, was an error updating last time, and I said, okay, let's let's get rid of it altogether and see what happens um, in the future if we re-add it or not, if it's worth the pain. With some general updates, all these things you just get if you do pseudo pacman. No, actually, when they're coming from AOR, you need to type this one, you know. But as you see, there are lots of updates coming and we could check it out and compare it. So Arch Merge Arc Teams have been updated. That's mentioned here. So the Arc theme, we have Hibiscus and Tori that are uh, added. Uh, Gonki Collection, I3M, uh, I3WM kit. So we've updated a fair amount of Arch Merge packages, but also time shift is there in there somewhere. Time shift, time shift, time shift, time shift, T, 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 all the way down and back up. So a lot of standard stuff that comes in. It's not in here, uh, strange. But it's uh, AOR, so the AOR is not active yet. So preferences. So this, what we're looking at are just uh, the normal standard packages, not the AOR packages. So there you go. And I suppose we have to click again. And then the AOR is here as well. So time shift is in here. So the normal standard packages update from the AOR or on the ISO, simple. So you don't have to do anything for it. It's just an update. Okay, nothing to do, deleted SnapD. XFCE is just updating, so we get these uh, Tori packages. And Openbox is, yeah, the script we've changed. That's something you should actually then do. Um, if you want that script to be executable, sudo pacman minus s arch merge open box something, not the themes, the configuration. And it's going to install the configuration in the etc scale config again. So that's why I keep this scale around to quickly go to the open box and who says open box also says open menu generator. I just know this by heart. Of course, this is not uh, so important. There's just one icon I've changed from name. Uh, the lock icon has been changed. But if we're making a movie, I'm going for the full 100%. So, yep, that also. So now I can take both of them and then copy to eric.config and then we should get rid, I always do this like so, get rid of everything and then control V it. So I'm pretty sure that's the new one. Otherwise you'll get messages merge and write over and so on. Now I'm pretty sure. So this LTS kernel script has been um, copy pasted. And we were talking of and talking about these scripts in here. So some of you want an LTS kernel. Well, there is a script to have an LTS, so the long-term support kernel. Um, if you have troubles with the latest kernel, you can try out this one. That's my opinion. I've been using it since a year, the normal kernels, not the LTS. And no issues. So that's the change lock icon I did in OB menu generator. And then I3WM polybar is fully integrated in I3. So we've uh, updated that as well. Meaning we have to get the I3WM kit. You know what it's going to be, etc scale. And I close the folder again. So scale config I3, control C, Eric config. I3 is here, delete it, paste it. And we are back with um, 6.4.1. So if you've done all these changes, like always, I go down here in file system. Let's first ask it again, 6.3.1, check. And then you go in here. What was it again? Was it LSB release? Right mouse click, click. 
sublime text then you can just type 6.4.1 if you did all the changes and then ask again what release do i have and it says here arch merge 6.4.1 this is the name i gave to the system that's something else that's uh well, what is it again local host name let me look there it is host name that's the name we're looking for so we can say look i just did everything eric told me to do so this can be called a 6.4.1 intro uh, distro so rebooting might be necessary and it is necessary but um, there you go and you have now uh, seen what we've changed in 6.4.1 and you're back up to speed all right enjoy